Looking closer at the teeth of a cow. Going once again here, you have the base of the teeth, where the teeth attaches to the other quarter. This is also where there's a very uh, large vascular uh, ring being there. So that's a very blood area that is very well uh, or highly in blood flow. Um, going down in the middle of the teeth here, you have the teeth cistern where actually milk also gathers. And that is what is being squeezed out of course when the cow is milked. And then going down to the bottom, you see the teeth orifice here, the opening. And what you also notice is there's no protruding tissue there. So actually there's a very nice closing teeth orifice and this would be classified as being a smooth indicative that this cow has a very low risk of, the, of having mastitis because actually teeth orifices closes very well, there's no tissue going out anymore. If you look at then at the quarter of the, of the cow's udder, here internally at the bottom there's the udder cistern where the milk gathers from the milk alveoli at, uh, before milking and of course this milk is being drained out. And that's also very important with the milking process that oxytocin release actually will make the milk going from up here in the alveoli, the milk is released into this other cistern and that can be milked out easily. That's why the hormone oxytocin is so important for milking.